Ciao and welcome to Geo's Paintbrush, where five minutes is all it takes to be blown away by one of the world's greatest artists. Some have called Las Meninas by the 17th century Spanish court master Diego Velázquez the greatest painting in the world. Having experienced this intriguing and beautiful oil on canvas in person at the Museo del Prado in Madrid, I have tremendous respect for this work and for Velázquez, but I find that moniker hyperbolic. I would, however, place this work among the greatest paintings about art in the world. Not to say that it's a piece about art alone, as the title, translated in English as Maids of Honor, clearly suggests. But I find the clever playfulness of Velazquez's exploration of the role of artists in society, the purpose of art, the relationship between art and the natural world around us to be complex, powerful, and at the same time just plain fun by no means an easy thing to pull off for any artist, whether with words, images, or music. While the work certainly possesses an aspect of the historical, capturing a sense of everyday Spanish court life, we'll focus today mainly on what the work reveals about art and the world. Thanks for joining us. So here we are, transported by Velázquez into the 17th century court of the Spanish King Philip IV in Madrid, where Velázquez enjoyed the office of court painter, pulling down a regular salary that enabled him to pursue an interest in portraiture. While Velázquez was a native of Sevilla, born in 1599, it was when he moved to Madrid in 1622 that his career took off. Known for his remarkable ability to portray his subjects in true-to-life detail, and his wonderfully vivid use of color, as well as his ability to breathe action into a scene, Velázquez here demonstrates these qualities in Las Meninas, or Maids of Honor, so named for the cadre of ladies-in-waiting attending to the Infanta Margarita, the young royal daughter, Margaret Teresa. And there's Velázquez, painted by Velázquez, standing before a large canvas, brush in hand, seeming oblivious to Margaret Teresa and her posse, instead focusing on you and me, the viewer, as we stand before Las Meninas, looking into the scene he's created, or perhaps recreated. What's going on here? The artist has painted a picture of himself seeming to paint us, but he doesn't let us peek at the canvas. And how did we get into this scene anyway? This is a royal court, after all. Don't they have guards? Ah, but look at the mirror in the background, hanging on the wall, reflecting the image of the subjects of Velázquez's portrait, where they stand, off camera, so to speak. As it turns out, we have been placed in the role of King Philip and Queen Mariana, Margarita's parents. And so Margarita, her attendants and guards, and even the dog stand before us, watching, as we pose for a royal portrait by Velázquez. As the attendants, most of them at least, watch Margarita, and Margarita and Velázquez, and maybe the dog too, watch us, playing our royal roles, deep in the background, a royal aide peeks in the doorway and appears, by the direction of his gaze, to be checking out the painting on the canvas, watching Velázquez work. As you have probably deduced by now, this is an extremely complex painting, leaving one to wonder, on first experiencing the work, what's this really about? Seems like an awful lot of unnecessary detail to serve as a straightforward historical record, even a beautiful and accurate one, of a typical moment in the life of Spanish royalty during Spain's golden age, when all of that new world wealth was paying dividends for the crown. What I love about this painting are the questions it raises. Is art, here, recording reality as it was, or creating that reality? To what extent is Velázquez, standing tall at left, defining what we see and what we understand to be true, according to his own understanding, or vision, or even whim? And as we stand in front of Las Meninas, seeming to be the subject of the painting in progress, how is it possible that we've been transformed into the king and queen? On one hand, now a part of this painting, in a sense even the focal point, but on the other hand, an outsider looking in, trying to understand what's going on and why, and what our relationship to this art is supposed to be. Are we more like the aide in the doorway, just waiting to see what the artist comes up with, curious, intrigued, not a part of the painting Velázquez is working on in this painting, but now a part of the painting Velázquez completed about painting? Studying this canvas carefully, it's even possible to me that the reflection in the mirror is not of the king and queen as they pose for the painting, 
but of Velazquez's canvas near completion, in which case we'd be left to assume that the king and queen are what Velazquez is studying in our place. But not being able to see them, and us standing in that role, off canvas, one cannot help but wonder if the artist can look at one thing, in this case us, the viewers, and paint something entirely different, that is, the king and queen. In other words, art captures the world as the artist experiences and interprets it, and perhaps even for his or her own purposes, rather than as it appears literally, naturally. As if to reinforce this point, Margarita stands in the center of the piece, bathed in a light that touches no one else, and appears to come from nowhere. And the reflection in the mirror of King Philip and Queen Mariana, or of the painting of the royal couple, is sort of ephemeral, ghost-like, unclear. More evidence of the power of the artist to create a reality as powerful, if not more so, than what truly is? Or perhaps a commentary on the impossibility of defining reality and truth with certainty, on the human ability to really grasp fully what is? In Las Meninas, the role of the artist is clearly an important one. First, by Velázquez's presence and stature here in the royal court, but also by his ability to manipulate reality to create a realistic history painting that raises questions about what was, and in a broader sense, what is, not the usual M.O. for the historical or portrait genres. Even the title of the work raises questions, since the maids of honor, while certainly plentiful in the composition of the piece, don't seem at all to be the focal point, with Margarita, Velázquez himself, the image of the king and queen in the mirror, and you and I standing outside the painting, all competing for prominence and yet the title directs one to the maids as the central subject of the piece. Why? Well, that's a question I'm still pondering today, but this much is certain. The cryptic title certainly fits the notion of this painting as a work of art mostly about art, exploring an artist's powerful influence over what every society accepts as real, as true, or as beautiful. Thanks for joining us. I can like I could when I was small And it's so picturesque Looking through the crystal ball Can you picture this? And it isn't sad